Right, morning, happy new year to everybody. Uh, haven't uh, taken the camera out for a while, but uh, I've been out every day in the new year so far running. Uh, this is probably about the nicest day that we've had for a while. Uh, it's pretty cold, about minus two, minus three Celsius. Uh, but uh, it looks as though it's going to be bright and sunny. So I thought I'd just go for a little run around locally. So uh, let's go and uh, see what we can find. This of course is very muddy but obviously as it's uh, at least semi-frozen well, as I said I've been out every day this year so far but I finished uh, 2020 with uh, 1327 miles run which uh, I was quite pleased with a bit damper here where it hasn't frozen right, I'm gonna to have to go out on the field right, this is our new local adopted footpath that you can see there <laughs> Not much hope of walking down that or running down that this morning. Right. Ooh. No matter what time of year you come down here it looks different people always talk about targets and things at this time of year uh, basically I just want to be alive at the end of it and uh, if I can still be getting out into the countryside then uh, that'll be great hope I can still run so I ran across that bridge then but uh, it's at an angle and it was uh, quite frosty on it so I had to hold on a bit right, just a quick uh, rundown of the current lockdown situation uh, we are told in the UK to stay at home except for essential journeys virtually all my runs for a while are going to be just in the local area got all the winter wheat winter barley whatever it is in so uh, the fields now are looking quite Oh, they're looking quite nice and green. Sun is already causing the ground to thaw just a little bit. At least I can see what I'm running on rather than with the horses.
and I do wish that farmers would put uh, just a few bits of wood in the ground just to indicate where the footpath is right now jogging along the A120 King's Arms local pub lots of renovation going on there at the moment this is Black's Lane uh, sadly a young motorcyclist was killed out on the road there on Christmas Eve quite love the idea of getting back on a motorbike again but uh, you know I know I'm in my 70s now reactions have slowed down dramatically uh, road conditions so much worse than when I used to motorcycle in the 1960s in fact uh, yeah it's just not worth the chance this is uh, one of the ancient lanes in the area you know, lanes which have been used for centuries If I'm, we can still get out into the local countryside it's uh, not too much of a problem right, out onto Salmon's Lane and down here which is I believe another one of the ancient lanes Lovely little one this, again especially in springtime. Now this is quite nasty to run on, so uh, let's be sensible. This really nice little lane again. <laughs> oh, well. Sensible farmer here. He's marked the footpaths. Oh, a nice little bit of headland left there. one of the few bits this morning where you've actually been able to run normally and out onto church lane little tie This is a 12th century church so it's been standing there for one form or another for 900 years and here so there's a clear path across here but uh, it's been walked on when it's wet and uh, it has frozen right then carefully out onto Great Tay Road right and then over to this footpath
straight back into Mott's Lane. So we'll just uh, jog along down here, back to the A120 and uh, then back home. There is far less traffic than usual here. Uh, there's still more than there was in the last lockdown. Well, no, sorry, the first lockdown. Right, back at start. Uh, that's uh, around about five miles, that route. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And uh, if you did, think about subscribing and uh, join me for some more runs around the glorious Essex countryside. Till then, take care, look after yourselves. Bye for now.